Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and the reason we're at this strange angle is because I had to break out my Zortrax starter kit and this big, huge crepe flipper because we've got the Zortrax M300 3D printer, 12 by 12 by 12 build area. It just finished an 88 hour job printing a Stormtrooper helmet. Oh, this is exciting. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is exciting. Uh, here it is, it just finished 88 hours. It's in hips material. Uh, let's see, I think, I don't know if I can, let's see if I can get, there we go. So the Zortrax has a removable build plate, but the plug is in the back and I couldn't reach it, so. <laughs> Here we go. This is it. This was 88 hours. This is in hips materials or tracks hips. This is the M300 printer doing this. Let's uh, let's let's get this on the desk. Let's get the supports off and and let's let's get this on someone's head. All right, here it is, we're at the table. The last time you saw this, it was when Bill and Brittany Duran of Punished Props were over here. This is the Zortrax M300 starter kit, and they were the ones that helped me get the printer out of the box, and we did it on a stream, and it was a lot of fun. Oh, and this is what it was printing right here. This is a, a little latch, a buckle or something you can put things on, printed in the, a, the hips, high impact polystyrene. It turned out great. It was just a couple hours to print that. Of course, right after that, I went into this 88 hour print, which is just crazy. We do need to clean this up. The starter kit from Zortrax, other than these papers, does include a lot of things that help with the cleanup, including some razor blades. What I'm really looking for though, are these flush cutters right here. The raft on the Zortrax should come off okay, maybe. And then we'll get a look at the model and we'll see how good of a job it did. One of the things you always worry about is, well, what just happened. So it's unfortunate. The raft did fuse to the rest of the model, which gives us that. But don't worry about that. Everything is okay. Because what we can do is we can fill this in with Bondo spot putty. We can sand it down and we'll, we will make it perfect. We will be working with Punished Props again to finish this up. So the goal here is just to remove all of the extra stuff, the supports, the raft, all that kind of stuff. Let's see how much we can do without having to break out the clippers. It is funny looking at the top of the head and seeing it just destroyed. This is actually not too bad. I would have rather the, the raft not stuck to the rest of the print and I would have really rather not had to fill it in with Bondo and stuff. This looks good. So the model itself was 88 hours. It printed upside down. Zortrax itself has opened up Z-Suite, their slicer, to third-party filaments. So with the Zortrax machine, you're still running a closed source machi machine and you're still running a closed slicer, but you can use third-party filaments. This happened to be Zortrax hips that they sent me. And uh, in Z-Suite, I just went with default 0.16 layer height options or maybe 0.19, I don't exactly remember. Uh, but it, it turned out good. Everything, that's not this, is smooth. I do see some layer inconsistencies around parts where shrinkage may have occurred. If you look at the top of the head right there, you're seeing some parts where the curvature was too much and you did get some material shrinkage. I'm not, again, I'm not worried about that because everything can be filled in, it could be sanded, primed and painted, which is what's gonna end up happening to this. Oh, you know what? It looks like, looks like there's a little crack by the eyes right there. Again, though, none of this is a, a final blow to the model. Everything can be salvaged, everything can be fixed. I would say being uh, the second print of a machine, using a material that I don't usually use and just hitting go, I think it turned out great. Oh, this is so cool. I could, I could probably.
We'll be print with PLA and have it turn out better. This is a Stormtrooper helmet from Star Wars, and it should be, we should try it on. I want, I want a real hardcore Star Wars fan to wear this first. So Josh, from behind the camera, Me? He's gonna come over here and he's gonna put it on. Grab a chair. Sure? Grab like, a chair. I was I was always told I was too short for a stormtrooper. Ha! <laughs> You're funny. All right. There you go, man. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. There we go. How's it look? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. It fits your head perfect. Oh, this is kind of exciting. We'll we'll paint the black parts through here. Oh, I'll do a lot of painting. And we'll we'll painting. it'll we'll make it an actual white. We'll weather it a little bit. Yeah. And then we could get a bloody handprint and kind of go like that. That would be a first order stormtrooper helmet. They're a different shape than the normal stormtrooper <laughs> helmet. Well, when we get this all fixed up, Josh, I want to make sure you know this is your helmet. Yes. Is that okay? Woo! A, a little woo. Yeah. Hey, I want to try it on. I'm going to take off my it's glasses. It's like we measured it for my head, but we didn't. <sighs> oh, yeah. I can see out of this just fine. Oh, this is cool. So uh, the Zortrax M300 has proved itself to be quite a workhorse. The second print was an 88-hour print, and it did, for the most part, okay. Hips is an unfamiliar material to me because I don't print with it a lot. I bet I could have gotten better results with PLA. I do have PLA. Maybe I'll print a PLA helmet next. I'm gonna throw a lot of other really long prints at this machine because it's billed as more of an industrial device and something that a, a business could use for hundreds, if not thousands of hours at a time. Uh, what do you think? How did this turn out? What did, do you do cosplay? Is this worthy of a cosplay creation? How would you decorate a Star Wars helmet like this? Let me know. Otherwise, you know what? We're gonna call it good. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what else you wanna see printed on this M300, but for now, we're gonna call it good. Uh, a big thanks to everybody who supports me via Patreon and YouTube Red, and for everybody that lets the ads play. Finally, don't forget to hug each other more, because uh, I love you guys. Uh, as always, ready? High five.